Hi traders, welcome to Daily Forex Analysis where trade with us in Sajjad. Tomorrow we are expecting NFP, so the whole trading day will revolve around NFP. Uh, in the first uh, half of the day, I'm expecting that the market will go in one direction. I'm expecting a weaker US data. For the last seven years, uh, whenever uh, NFP is in September, it's negative. So hopefully this time it's also negative. So we can expect the bigger drop in US dollar. Now let's see what else we got. In the daytime we have some uh, medium impact news. Then, then at, at 12.30 uh, there will be NFP release. At the same time for the Canadian dollar we have employment change. Then later on for at 14 GMT we have IBPMI for uh, Canadian dollar. So we move to dollar index. Today we didn't see any uh, movement in the US dollar, the market just went up and down, uh, there was no clear direction but it closed in a uh, bearish candle right now. After the news release if it's a negative then we can expect a spike up, it may go to 95.76. Uh, I'm speculating that there will be a negative data so in that case uh, dollar index can drop to 94.43 initially and uh, then in the extension it can even drop to 94.08 on the smaller time frames uh, today if we can just look around uh, we saw a smaller move up and then it dropped at the moment it's uh, on a support level uh, tomorrow even the market may just go sideways the whole day Earlier the day in uh, Asian session and UK session, uh, US dollar may uh, climb up, but after the news release, uh, we are expecting a bigger draw. Uh, let's move to Euro dollar. Euro dollar remain unchanged. Today we are expecting that Euro dollar will be bullish, but, but we didn't see any clear direction. It just closed in a doji. Uh, on the smaller time frame, we can see that uh, it just uh, went up and then down most of the time it just uh, consolidated and tomorrow after the news event I'm expecting that it can uh, target 1.1708 and if the impact is higher then it may even reach 1.1791 we move to pound dollar pound dollar 2 didn't move much it was looking uh, good uh, initially but then it dropped and tomorrow I'm also expecting that it can reach to 1.3029 and above. Let's see how, how it moved today and you can see the whole day. We didn't see much volume and movement in the uh, pound dollar and it was just uh, moving sideways. But definitely tomorrow uh, it's a big day for uh, pound dollar and it's supposed to touch 1.3029 and above talking about the dollar cat yesterday we were talking about that we might see a drop in the dollar cat but this morning it uh, started uh, going up at a time it looked like it's uh, going to reach 1.3250 level but then it started dropping down and right now it's at 1.3142 for tomorrow there are uh, two news release which can uh, have impact one is uh, nfp and second one is for canadian dollar employment chain so in case uh, canadian dollar gets strength then it's supposed to drop at least to 1.2987 uh, on the other hand if it uh, it's weaker then we might see a spike up and it can uh, reach to 1.3284 so let's see how it moved uh, during the day and here it is uh, it was moving slowly early this morning it uh, tried to go up all the way in the earlier session uh, dollar cat went up all the way but then in the evening it dropped and right now it's uh, looking much weaker tomorrow it might be a continuation to the downtrend or for the next few hours it's supposed to consolidate and may go sideways and then uh, in the Asian session it may drop to 1.31 level. So we move to gold and gold is uh, just moving nowhere. It's uh, going up and down. For the last few days we are seeing uh, gold struggling. Uh, it hasn't found any direction so far. It's moving up and down. This morning though it looked good but then in the afternoon it dropped back again. 
So for tomorrow, I'm targeting at uh, 12.18 and above level, uh, just in case it drops. Uh, it can drop to 11.84 before it moves to 12.18 and above. On the smaller time frame, we can see how it moved and here it is. Uh, this morning it started flying off. At this moment it looked very good but then in, and after that in 2 hours it dropped uh, and lost all the gains. At the moment it's just moving sideways but it can uh, again try to go uh, at least to 12.05 or 12.06 and above. We might expect some movement in the Asian session. Let's move to NASDAQ 100. NASDAQ 100 was supposed to go up but all the US stocks were uh, falling down so so did the NASDAQ and right now uh, though it has uh, bounced back from a strong uh, support level but it looks like tomorrow it may just continue to uh, 7315 and below level. After the NFP release it may bounce back to 7533 and above level. Uh, we will see how it uh, did today and on the 4 hour time frame. It dropped last night but then in the whole day it was just moving sideways and then we saw a sudden drop in the 4 hours and right now though it's uh, struggling to go up uh, it will uh, depend. It has bounced back from a key support level so tomorrow it may just start uh, climbing up or may drop again. Um, before NFP, I'm looking at a 7315 level, and after that, it can uh, try to bounce back to 7533 and above. So, guys, that's all about our daily analysis. I wish you best of luck for NFP. Uh, trade with care. Take care of yourself and your trades. I'll see you again. Until then, bye.